Crank up the lights, and I wish these rear views worked. <laughs> Let's go on the main... Oh, dang it. What did I hit? Oh, I don't even have insurance. So I'm just going to head back home. Ow! What the heck was that? Oh, no. All right, survivors. Welcome back to Miss Survival. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We're at the uh, Redneck Cabin. And we got Bobby, the redneck chicken, down there playing by the barrel fire. Try not to burn yourself, Bobby, um, because he's so noisy. I just had to get him away from me because he was too much, making too much noise. Um, so we got our water purifier going over here that we made in the last episode. That thing's cranking out some nice fresh potable water. We're in pretty good shape. In the last episode, we went out. We got a bunch of food, and yeah, we're looking, we're looking mighty fine. There's a couple of things I want to do today. Um, to expand our base. In fact, we can do that right now. I want to build up this wooden wall with a ladder so we can get up to the second floor, make a bed, and then I think we're going to go out and get that red pickup truck because we now have all of the car parts that we need for tires, engine, spark plug, and a battery. And there's a, a lovely red pickup. Perfect for a redneck chicken and, uh, and his odor. And we're going to do that today in the morning. But I wanted to get bang this thing out literally banging out Ooh, any tools uh before bed and then we'll make up a nice bed we'll put it up in the second floor that's kind of the point of that thing there so we can have access to the second floor and uh i already have a chicken fence on the other side to block the zambies from getting up to the second floor on the other side so i'll show you that in a minute so this is going to take uh how long is this going to take what does it say two hours holy cow all right well I think we have everything we need. Let's just start banging away with a wrench. And whoops. Nope, I don't have everything we need. Hold up, hold up. I get everything we need right here. Right here. I put, I put it in here in the last episode. After making all that stuff. Nails and the planks. There we go. Much better. And I think I'm going to get... Um, yeah, I'm going to get I'm gonna get thirsty. Yeah, no, we, we made it. But let's pop down a Coke right now. Mm-mm-mm. There we go. Beautiful. Nothing like a little high fructose syrup to keep you going. And now we uh, we have access to the second floor. And this nice little uh, deck up here, which is awesome. There's no door, unfortunately, up here. So that's why I put the chicken fence and gate down this way. So that should keep the Zambies out. I have not tested that theory yet, but I don't think they can climb up there. So we should be good. Keep getting stuck on these two uh, stairs, though. The one at the bottom and the top. That's a bug. It needs to be fixed. And we're going to put a bed up here. We're going to put a bed right here on the second floor. We're going to sleep in the loft. And this is pretty awesome, too. We can maybe rain arrows down upon the heads of our enemies. And maybe expand this out around the entire cabin at some point. So we can walk all around the perimeter um, nice and safe up there. Get the height advantage, right? That would be pretty dang sweet. Now, bed. Let's go make a quick bed, and then we'll make it day, and then go pick up the pickup. So we're going to make this duo bed, because um, you never know. We might we might meet a friend. We just might meet a friend. So we're going to make the, uh, the double. So we're going to grab everything we need, and we'll go bang this out, and then go to bed. So let's do it right here, right now. Uh, duo. The double and I think let's just put it right up against the wall here. Right by the window. Not out the window, though. I'd like to have my head inside the building to sleep. But we'll have it right up against the uh, right up against the window. I think that'll look nice. All right, let's bang away with our wrench. Hour and a half or so. And uh, it'll be, oh gosh, 2.30 in the morning. Okay, I'm pooped. Time to hit the sack. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> Ah, no, 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 no. Another day to live through. Better get started. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's still here. He didn't burn himself to death or get eaten by a zombie, so that's a good sign. And I did sleep with my spear all night long on my chest because I heard some movement out here. And I woke up, checked it out, didn't see anybody around. But uh, if there were, if there was anyone out there, they didn't get up and over our chicken fence. So I feel like... That second floor is pretty secure, so not too chabby. All right, let's get rolling. Uh, what do we need? We need all the car parts, of course, so let's grab all of that. That's down here in this case. 
for tires, battery, engine, and sparky plug. And I don't think we need any special tools to put a car together. So I'm going to leave all that behind and then put, uh, put all this other stuff away. We don't need to carry it around with us. All right. I think we're looking pretty good. Let's eat, though, before we go. How about if we have some canned meats? And a Coke to wash it back. And that, my friends, is the Breakfast of Champions. Big can of meat and a soda pop. All right, let's get rolling. Uh, oh, I see a dead guy out there. <laughs> so there was somebody out here. Bobby took care of him. Good work, Bobby. It looks like he was running away from Bobby, and Bobby caught up and took him out. Redneck chicken style. Anybody else out here? So that, Oh, here's another one. Yeah, these must have been the guys making all the noise last night. Ooh, okay. All right, well, good work, Bobby. Never underestimate a redneck chicken. Okay, let's get moving. It should be relatively safe out here. The only thing you have to worry about is a potential bear. I'm gonna drop that log, I don't need it. Um, so I'll keep your eyes open for that. But we're just gonna run right down here and get that pickup truck, which is down this way, I believe, if I recall correctly. All right, this is the one. With the forge and the uh, the furnace. Yes, there she is. Oh, what a beaut. What a beaut. Well, she doesn't look very good right now. But we're going to fix her up right. And this is going to take some time. Um, let's put the battery in first. That's five minutes. There we go. And we'll put the engine in. That's going to be the longest at 20. Uh, let's do the spark plug. That's only three minutes. And then four tires. And these are, wow, ten minutes apiece, huh? It's all right, it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. We have plenty of time. Now let's dump some gas in there. We're gonna fill the whole tank with all that gas? I really don't wanna do that. Uh, I wanna put some of it. How about that much? All right, that's good. I wanna hang on to this for other stuff. So nine and a half liters of gasoline and that ought to do. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to have a car again. Let's get in, close the door. And wait, how do I drive again? Engine start. Uh, crank up the lights. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And then we drive. Right. Okay. I remember how to drive. I do remember how to drive. Let's try not to hit things, though, because when you hit things, it does damage to uh, the components in the car. And the components right now are not in very good shape, so we have to be really careful. I'm going to exit the car and just show you it real quick. Oh, we can't even look at this stuff in here. Um, but yeah, if we hit anything, then all the components will take damage, and that's not cool. So what we need is, we need a case for the back, for our loots and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if, uh, we should just go back home and grab one of our crates, or maybe just find a new crate. I guess we'll just find a new crate at some point along the way. So, well, what do you want to do? Where should we go? The sky's the limit. The world's our oyster. We have so many options. Let's, uh, I don't have a map, so <laughs> I don't really know. We'll just go down the road and see what's down there. All right, hop in. I'm driving. See where, see where this road takes us. Um, man, I wish I could turn my head a little faster. Have we been out this way? I know there's a main road. Let's try to find the main road. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's go back to our old redneck shack and check on our, um, drying rack. Because if everything's dried, we can throw the giant drying rack right in the back of the pickup truck. It's so cool that this game allows you to do that kind of thing. Whoa! Oh, wow, man, we need new tires. These things are like, they must be bald. Sliding, slipping and sliding all over the darn place. Yeah, hopefully all that meat is dried. Because I want to bring the drying rack back home. Is that a bear? No, it's not a bear. Okay, this is the wall. Just the wall. I don't want to tangle with the bear. Even though we have a truck, the bear can do the damage. A lot of damage, and it's not going to be worth it. Um, all right, let's just park this right here in the road. And get out. Just leave the car running. I don't think it uses a lot of gas. Idling like that. Let's go check on our dried meats and guts. And really just, I just really want the guts. Oh, they're done! Woohoo! All right, collect them all. I think if we leave them on there... They'll stay on, but I'm worried that uh, they might go back to 0%. I'm not taking that dang chance. So I'm going to take everything off. It's all dry. The, the guts, 
and the meats. This is fantastic. So now we have a lot of meat, and this should last a little while, 80%. But we got to use these guts up pretty quick. All right, cool. So now we can just pick up the rack, as is, and then put it in the pickup truck. So if you pick up a rack with meats drying on it, they, um, they get reset back to zero. So that's why I had to leave it over here. All right, let's spin it around. Hopefully this thing fits. I mean, it's a big pickup truck. Oh, no. I guess we're going to put it the other way. Put it the other way. Lift it up and then drop it down on the bed like this. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. I'm going to drop it right there. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I don't have any way to tie it down. Hopefully that actually works. I mean, worst case scenario, it falls off. when we got to pick it back up and put it back on again. Now, we might have a crate... Oh, no, we don't. I think I moved all the crates. Oh, we have a suitcase. That's pretty good. All right, well, we'll put the suitcase in the back of the truck, too. And we can store stuff in here. Yeah, drop that there. And I think I saw a log over here, so I'm going to grab the log. Waste not, want not. All right, hop in. I'm driving. Let's head home. Let's get back home. And I'm wondering what's the fastest way home. I don't want to go through the woods, so I guess I'm going to do the same route, kind of stick to the road if I can, which was where? <laughs> Already lost. I think it's over here. Yeah, we'll get on this dirt road, take a left at Albuquerque. Uh, I think that's our hill right there, right? But hold on, i got to stop, look both ways. All right, now we can go. Yeah, this is our hill right here and the cabin beyond. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get used to this place. Oh, my gosh. If I put this in the water, that would be the end of poor little red pickup truck here. Ciao, Bobby. Coming through, buddy. Is there a... Uh, I don't think there's a horn. All right. Kill the lights. Oh, jeez. That was the wrong button. Kill the engine. Kill the lights. Out. How do we get out? F. Okay, what do you think, Bobby? It's pretty nice, right? Remember remember the pickup truck? Bobby loves the pickup truck. There you go, buddy. So the drying rack did not fall off. That was nice. And honestly, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I was just flying, flying home as fast as I possibly could, and I didn't even look. Let's put it over here, because I don't know how often we're going to need to use this thing. And again, once it's down, I don't want to have to move it again. We have some bear skins. Where's my bear skins? Right here. Animal hides. Two animal hides. And as far as I know, we can tan them on this thing. Let's put them on. And we get leather. Oh, no. Oh. Really? Okay. As it turns out, we actually need a tanning rack for this job right here. Special tool for racking and drying leather. Pretty easy to make, with the exception of the lashings, which are a pain to make. Because you need... Lots of tree bark and lots of leaves, and I don't know if I have all that stuff right now. So, you know, we're not going to worry about that. Not right now, because it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I want to uh, go for a ride. So, let's put our leather in here for now. The untanned leather, that is, and we'll get to that eventually. And we need to use up these um, the, uh, the animal guts, and we can do that right here to make a bow. But that's four lashings, too. Ay, caramba. Yeah, you know what? All that time-consuming stuff, we'll do that later. Let's go for a ride in our vehicle. I think that's going to be fun. So, let's close the door. Don't let Bobby in. Um, yeah, we're good. We got some food, got some water. Now that I have this car, I really just want to go for a ride. I would take Bobby, but sometimes he leaps out the back and uh, causes all kinds of havoc. So, you know what? Bobby, you stay here, okay? But you might want to move. We'll play over here. Under that tree. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Okay, let's go. Crank up the lights. And I wish these rear views worked. <laughs> let's go on the main... Oh, dang it. What did I hit? Oh, I don't even have insurance. Oh, no. Miss Survival. Look at my license plate. Miss Survival. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, okay, just a little scratch in the bumper. We're fine. We're fine here. All right, hop in. And let's get up to the main drag. And we'll just take a ride on this road here. That's the dead end, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, I think what we want to look for is more car parts. Um, but we have been up and down this road pretty far so far. So far on foot. 
Oh, we go back to that military site, right? Because I don't think we explored that fully just yet. Now, what is that in the road? Is that a dude? There's something right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's a locker. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the heck that thing was. It's our locker. All right, I put that there. Well, that was so weird. Anything in it? No, but we'll take it home. We'll put it in the back, and then we can use this for carrying loots, of course. All right, hop in. I'm driving. It's going nice and slow. I don't want to hit anything. Let's park right here. Kill the lights. Kill the engine. Out we go. Now we're gonna take a walk. Yeah, we found the uh, we found this nice M4 rifle right here last time. Why can't I climb over this thing? There we go. All right, the M4 was right here by those sandbags. So I don't know if there's any bandits around here or anything nasty. So keep your eyes open. We should probably go nice and slow and deliberate like. And I think I will get the rifle out just in case. Got 22 rounds in here. Yeah, we need to start getting into some metal working. Like, maybe go to the mines and uh, get a pickaxe. Got some food down here. That's nice. Right? Let's start making metal things. Oh, rifle ammo. Sweet. Top off the mag. 26 rounds. Sweet. Very, very nice indeed. The more bullets is the better, obviously. Ooh, can I get up top here? Nah. Probably not worth the effort. I've got a cabinet right here, too. So we have some kind of office under the tent. And all empty figures. That's not cool. I don't like this so quiet here. I don't like that at all. Oh, look at this troop carrier, but <laughs> no troops in it. And there's nothing else in there either. Who's this? Stick. I'm going to climb up on top of this. You never know. Always got to climb up and look on the roofs. All the games. All right, got some more bullets is down here. Nine millimeter. We could use a, uh, a handgun. Oh, check it out. We got a backpack upgrade. That is awesome. It's just a couple more of those, and we'll have a full size backpack. Yeah, a nine millimeter handgun would be great. And there's also a new revolver. I have not seen the revolver yet, so that would be pretty nice too. Either one. I'm not picky. Just want another gun, handgun especially. Can we open these up? No. Oh, there's a crate here. This crate's awesome. We can carry these right out of here. I'll put it back. This is the one we want in the back of the pickup truck because it's it's perfect fit. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, this one's got stuff in it. That one down there is empty. All right, I'm going to put the gun down. I just don't want any accidental discharge. Do we have rifle ammo? The hunting ammo and these, uh, obviously, the bandages are very nice to have. Frag? Ooh, I want a frag. And we have frag casings and some, again, the hunting ammo for the, uh, for the hunt, for the rifle, like the snipery, huntery rifle. I'm going to go bring this, just leave it there for now. And we'll grab this one, too. Don't let me forget these, especially the one with the stuff in it. Ugh, stuck. I'm gonna go check out all of the tents. So we already, did we check this one? Oh no, we didn't go in this tent yet. Look at this. More lockers. Holy cow, lockers for days. Do we even need any more lockers? We've got so many back at home, but you know, I'm gonna take them. I'm bring them out here, just put them in the road. I'm sure I'll forget about them, but maybe you guys can remind me. Oh, another crate in here. Let's just clear the tent first. Check your corners. And that one's empty. I wonder about the one underneath it. Oh my gosh. A vest armor. And a Colt 1911. <gasps> Jackpot. All right. Let's equip that armor. It was right there. It's not in great shape, but better than nothing. And I think I'm going to take the baseball bat out and put in that Colt. All right. And we got two rounds of handgun ammo. That's not going to last very long. And I'm going to bring this out here. All right. That tent we've been in. You know, all these tents, they all look the same. This one we have not been in. 
Bunch of bunks here. Ooh, nine mil. Perfect. Wait, Colt 1911. That's a 45. Oh, it's an 1191. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say that's a that's the wrong caliber. But it's not it's actually not a 1911. Alright, keep your eyes open for backpack upgrades. Oh, gas can. Nice. It's got a little gas in it too. What's this? Car engine. Sweet. Yeah. Having a backup is great because those things will not last forever. And now that I have a car, I don't ever want to be without one in this game. Get spoiled. Ooh, yeah. Rifle ammo. Now we have a full mag. 30 rounds, baby. So I think what we might do in the next episode, because we're, we're about done here. I thought that was a gun. Is uh, go take on another bandit camp and try to rescue somebody. And I want to get seeds. I want to do some farming. We haven't done any farming in, in Miss Survival yet. And apparently that's how you, uh, that's where you get the seeds is from uh, bandit camps. So we have to go to a bandit camp and get some seeds. And I'm pretty sure the ones that have the seeds are the ones that are most well defended. Like the ones with uh, snipers. So it's not going to be easy to do. But I think now that we have our rifle, we've got our handgun, a few rounds, we should be okay. And we can make a bow. So I think with between the, the guns and the bow, I think we'll be all right. Can I get up here? Yes. No? Yes, no. No? Yes. Yes. Yes! Um, but it's not worth it. Nothing here. That's a shame. Alright, looks like we are done here. Oh, no, we're not. Hold on. Climb up here to the tippity... Oh, maybe I can't get up to the tippity top. No, it doesn't look like it. Unless I can climb up the Jersey barrier and hop. Oh, yes, I can. Woo! But I can't get up. Can I get up to the green? Don't need to. Nothing up there. All right, let's just check out these carriers. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I may have missed some things. If I did, let me know. Oh, hold up. Hold up. So many of these crates. Wow, look at this, guys. Another frag, MRE, meals ready to eat, some, uh, uh, one gear, oh, gloves, wait, do I have gloves? I have gloves, but these are tactical gloves, they're very bad, it says they're very bad, <laughs> oh, these are also very bad, but they're garden gloves, well, let's swap them out, I think we should wear the tactical gloves while we're doing tactical -y things, and then we do our gardening later, when we finally do get to gardening and farming, we'll put on our garden gloves, right, makes sense to me. And again, we'll put these in the road so a little more visible. Well, I think... I think we're done here. I believe we got all of the goodies in this place. Including this tent, right? That was the first tent we came through. Uh, yeah. One last quick peek on our way out. Just in case. And yeah, if I did miss anything, leave a note down in the comments. And maybe we'll come back and get it another time. But I'm pretty sure I was thorough. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to grab the crate with the goodies in it. In fact, I might as well just grab the goodies out. There we go. And we'll grab one crate. And throw it in the back of the pickup truck. It's going to fit perfectly. And we'll be able to carry a bunch of loots in this one. In fact, I'm probably going to grab two of these. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, oh, oh watch out. Razor wire. Don't want to mess with that. Yeah, I'm going to put two of these in the back. I don't know if I can fit them right now because we got this other stuff in here, but uh, you know what? The suitcase can go. Here's, here's how we're going to do this. Open the bed back and move this. Put that gun down just in case. Again, I don't want to shoot it accidentally. <laughs> the bullet is precious. All right, well, that's a pretty good fit, right? And they are stackable, but I think we can just put another one right here. All right, let's try to stack this right up on top. If I can push it back a little bit, we can stack it. Oh, yeah, stack it! Oh, look at that. That is excellent. And we'll bring uh, we'll bring this too. I'm gonna put this in the house when we get home. In our cabin. 
And I guess we can bring the suitcase as well. It doesn't hurt. I might come back for those other green crates eventually. But uh, for now, we're just going to go because it's getting late. And this episode is about complete. So I checked this, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 there's a little gas in there. A wee bit of gas. Let's take it out. And I'm getting thirsty here. Oh, gosh. Uh, and we need a drink. Let's drink some of that fresh potable water that we purified. And I'm going to just drink a little. That's all we need. Just a wee little. All right. Okay, let's buggy. Hop in. You know the drill. I'm driving. <laughs> Start the engine. Crank up the lights. And... Oh, boy. Okay, backing up is a hassle because there's no rearview mirrors. Well, there are, but they just don't seem to work. Uh, all right. So, pretty good day, guys. We got our tower set up in the back so we can go sleep up in our loft. We got a pickup truck. We got some awesome loot. We got a new handgun. Oh, we got some tactical gloves. Um, what else do we get? Oh, a tactical vest, which is super awesome. And some more ammo. So, yeah, we're looking, we're looking pretty good here, folks. So, I'm just going to head back home. Ow! What the heck was that? Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't see whatever that was. Oh, gosh. Did I hit somebody? What the heck was that? Did I lose? I think I lost a hubcap. Oh, you know what it was? I think it was... Oh, gosh. I, I, I scraped the undercarriage. Yeah. This thing doesn't have very good clearance, does it, for a pickup truck? I think I hit the bottom of the truck down there. No biggie. It's all good. It's a tough truck. It's a tough redneck pickup truck. Nothing to worry about. And oh no, there's that bear. Oh, you know what? He runs away from the vehicle, which is smart. <laughs> it's good for us. There we go. Is this it right here? Yep, yep, there's that camper right out front. Alright, I think we're good. Try to pull it up over here and try not to hit that redneck chicken. Ooh. Straighten it out. Hopefully we didn't lose anything in the back. Oh, that's good. Perfect. That's good. All right, Bobby says it's good. Kill the engine. Open the door. Out we go. And everything's still back there? Oh, yeah. It's good. Fantastic. All right, guys. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to get organized, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. So have a good day. Bye-bye.